Welcome back to the Filthy Black Table. It's especially filthy right now, but that's the way you like it. Today we are going to be taking a look at video game box art. Not really the box art itself, more like the box composition. Uh, today I am going to be pitting the sixth generation of consoles against each other to see which company had the best box compositions. Uh, you know, uh, one of the biggest parts about playing games, especially during the sixth generation, was the personality that each console had. The PS2, the Xbox, and the GameCube all had different personalities. Not doing the Dreamcast. Uh, t technically, technically, the Dreamcast is a sixth generation, but it died before that generation even really took off, so I'm not counting it. And if I was counting it, fuck jewel cases. That's all I gotta say about that. I'll talk about... Uh, jewel case games some other time. Right now, we're going to look at the 6th generation and what their boxes looked like. See who comes out on top. First up, we are going to go with the PlayStation 2. This is a PlayStation 2 game. Dragon Guard 2. <laughs> Square Enix and Ubisoft, I like that they're both on here. The PlayStation 2 games are basic DVD cases. Oh, it's, it's got a header up top. It says PlayStation 2, big old 2. It's got a PlayStation logo. Now, just to be clear, I am only doing the North American boxes. I know in like Europe, the box is blue and stuff and whatever, but I'm only, I live in North America, so we're doing North America boxes. The box is black, and on the side, it looks the same. It has the game's logo, the same logo as here, but smaller, and a white variant for some reason. And on the back, it tells you about the game. Yeah, you ride dragons and stuff. And Yokotaro shit. Uh, one player game. Tells you all the info right here and blah blah. Ba basic box. Do I think it's bad? Absolutely not. On the inside, you have a spot for a manual, a game disc, and a memory card. So you can take your memory card with you, I guess, if you're having a hot game night of Dragon Guard 2 with your, you know, with, with the boys, uh, as we often do. What's on the back of this kit? I wonder what... Look, I want to guess what they're advertising on the back of the manual. I haven't looked. Hold on. What what, what year was this game? This game came out in... 2005 slash 2006? Square Enix 2005, 2006. I'm going to guess Final Fantasy 12. Oh, shit. It was, it was a Ubisoft one. It was the Prince of Persia. Oh, whatever. Anyway, that's, that's the basic box for a PS2 game. Next, we'll go with Xbox. Here's an Xbox game, Gauntlet Dark Legacy, good game. And uh, the Xbox has a very striking design for its boxes. Up top, it's got a header, it's got X, an, an X, followed by Xbox, and then this weird bubble X. Uh, on the side, kind of the same thing as the PS2. Copy of that, along with the game. And the box is green, which... It's not like a bright green, like I think the 360 boxes, which I don't have any, any, any anymore because I don't have any 360 games anymore. But the 360 was like a brighter green. This is like a darker darker green color to it. Um, kind of the same thing as the PS2 on the back. Tells you about the game, what it's compatible with, all that fun stuff. On the inside, same thing, only you don't have a slot for a memory card uh, because the PlayStation, sorry, the uh, Xbox uh, had a hard drive. Uh, you did have a memory card you could, like, swap stuff over to, like, a different console, but you didn't really use the memory cards. You used the hard drive. So, uh, yeah. Um, the box feels a little more premium, I think, overall. These, the PS2 cases, I, I always think feel pretty cheap. Uh, this feels a little more premium. Um... Same game here. I'm gonna guess what they're advertising on the on the back. This is uh, early 2000s uh, midway, so I'm gonna guess they're either advertising one of they're either advertising Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance or um fuck what was that damn horror game they had um the Suffering. Oh, I was wrong. It was Defender and Spy Hunter. I should have guessed Spy Hunter. Anyway. Yeah, these feel a little more premium, and I always like the way they're designed. And, of course, here's a GameCube game, Donkey Konga. Look at our boy. Uh, so, 
What is... Why do I have a different... What is that, Spanish? Or is French? Why do I have a French GameCube game? Do I? Why is, why is the header in the wrong language? Ignore that. They use it says only for play on or only for GameCube. It's got the it's got the little triangle here for exclusive games. Exclusive uh, multiplayer games don't have this, so ignore it. Other than that, it looks basically the same. It's got the header. It's got like a curved header with a weird outline. The GameCube logo, and of course the game art. The back, much of the same, but the, the info is up here this time. And then there's some down here. And on the side, whoa! Hold on a second. They put it at the bottom. They put it at the bottom. I used to have a friend that would uh, put all his console games together, and GameCube games when when they were on the shelf like this between other console games. When, when the headers are up here, then the one the GameCube's on the bottom because it's weird. I always hated that. <laughs> it always dro dro drove me crazy. You open up a GameCube case, kind of the same as the uh, PS2. You got a memory card slot, tiny micro disc thing. Um, what? I don't know what year this was, so I don't know what they would be advertising. Um, nothing. Great. Um, but look at how much extra space, and look at how much like protection this damn case has. The GameCube cases, I feel like I've I've rarely ever gotten a GameCube case that's like been destroyed, been completely destroyed. They always feel pretty nice. Um, so in terms of like how they feel, I think the PS2 loses overall. Um, and these two would probably come out on top, but overall design? I kind of like the Xbox's personality of like being being green instead of just boring old black. Um, even and like it's not like too in your face about it either. Like if it's on a shelf, it's not that that noticeable except for like a you know, it's not that bad. Um Ah, uh, shit. So I think overall, in terms of the regular cases, I'll probably go with Xbox. But we're not done here, because we have other cases to consider to see who would come out on top. All of these consoles had their version of, like, the greatest hits, bestsellers, premium selection games. And oftentimes, these are a, a, a talking point for collectors. Uh, how, how ugly they look. Well, let's, let's see how ugly they look. Here's a, here's a PlayStation 2 Greatest Hits, Hot Chef Golf 3, and it's a different color. We'll compare it to Dragon Guard here. It's like a weird maroon color. It's got a Greatest Hits kind of leaking out right there. Um, not really a fan of that, <laughs> that color, that design myself. Um, on the side, yeah, it sticks out like a sore thumb next to your other PS2 games. The back looks basically the same, though, and the inside of the case. This one doesn't have a memory card slot, but it is a PlayStation box, oddly enough. Uh, it looks like Hooper. Um, so yeah, that's what the PS2 version looks like. The GameCube version, sorry, not the GameCube, the Xbox version. Get ready to cover your eyes. What the fuck happened here? This is the uh, Tom Clancy classic trilogy. There's a lot happening on this box. There is a different color header. Let's get Gauntlet back out here. Different color header, but the ending icon is still the same. And then there's a, which these are on the Xbox Live games, a gross Xbox Live thing going across. And then there's a border around the damn box art. What, why? Why is that there? It says Platinum Hits. And then it's just fucking, it's like another box within a box. It's like, it's like on, on a normal game, this Tom Clancy thing would be on the side. And then, this one's, I picked this one off my shelf because I thought this one is especially funny. Because it's also three games in one, so it has like weird pictures of the three games. And then they're, all, like, they're, they're like stacked in here. They're like, it's, it's kind of gross how this thing's put together. But they're, they're all... Platinum versions, though. Oh God, it's 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 this box is a nightmare. They got they, they they get rid of the green. They get like a weird silver uh, color, and yeah, it also just sticks out. I don't I don't know how I feel about the like I I think this works better than the maroon does, but it comes to the spines. Um, but my God. Why did they need this weird border? The back doesn't do it. Why do they need the weird border? 
yeah, I'm, I'm not a, I'm not a fan of the Xbox version. All right, and lastly, we have the GameCube's player choice. This is Luigi's Mansion. Look, that's that's what the only four should look like. Why do I have a weird French version or something? What? Where did I get Donkey Konga anyway? <laughs> um, player's choice. It's it's up above, but I don't think it's that distracting. It's just a, little, a tiny yellow banner. Other than that, everything's basically the same except for the end labels, which are... It's now yellow. I don't think that's too offensive, honestly. I think the GameCube one's fine. The inside of the box looks the same. Looks basically the same. Advertisement on the, on the back of Luigi's Mansion manual. No, they don't do it. Look, you can get Nintendo Power, though. So that's the player's choice ones. I think the Xbox is the worst one here. I think the best one's probably the GameCube. The, the GameCube probably looks the best overall. So you probably think we're ready to make our final decisions, but there is something else I wanted to bring up that I noticed. Um, the Xbox, as much as I like the regular cases, as much as I think th these are cool cases, and I hate the, the, the Platinum Hits one, the regular cases are pretty nice. Um, and if we were just talking the regular cases, I might have picked Xbox to win. But, they did this shit. So whenever I got my first Xbox a long time ago, I got it with Sega GT 2002. And it also came with another game. Jet Set Radio Future. What the fuck are these boxes? Look, you got two... It is, they have to cram all the information at the bottom. The damn box art. These are monstrosities. And then you got the, they're all, they're on one disc, and look, the manual is like, I don't even know if it, is it even, is there even Jet Set stuff in this manual? Is, or is it all Sega GT? On the back you can get a Panzer Dragoon ad. Um, but what the fuck is this? And this isn't the only one that does it, look. Bam! Star Wars Clone Wars. Tetris. <laughs> Same thing. Oh, okay, there's two manuals, so I'm, I'm, I'm guessing I'm just missing the Jet Set manual from this one, because there's two damn manuals in here. So, like, a couple years back, I was going for um, all the Star Wars games released on Xbox, because there's quite a bit of them. And I wanted to get Clone Wars, but the only version I kept finding is the damn Tetris one, so I had to just buy it. And what makes these a nightmare is, where do I put these on the shelf? Look, they got, like, two games on the spine. I, I, I guess I put them under Sega and... Star Wars, but, you know, what if I'm looking for Jet Set or Tetris and I forget where they are and I forget they're combined into the same damn box? And I, I, here's the third one. Here is uh, Gotham, uh, Project Gotham Racing 2. I almost called it Gotham City Racing, like it's a Batman game. Project Gotham Racing 2, uh, which has Xbox Live, the weird gross Xbox Live thing shooting across. And then it's got the Xbox Arcade. Because that's the thing. And then this one doesn't... This one comes on two separate discs. And for some reason I have a platinum version of this, but oh, whatever. Um, yeah, I don't like these. <laughs> I don't like how they did these. You know? Like, I just... Because, like, if I want to be like, hey, look, I have Jet Set Radio, I have to hold the box backwards. And, I, and, and, and there's no... There's, like, like no back-of-the-box descriptions. There's no better way they could have done these. Yeah, these, these, these boxes kind of suck. Um... So who wins overall? I, I hear you crying out from a distance. I think the winner overall is the GameCube. I think the GameCube has the best boxes. They feel very premium. Like they, I feel like I could throw these damn things against a wall and they they would protect the game just fine. Um, they, they 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 always feel nice. I've I've gotten too many I've gotten too many PS2 games. Not this one. This is in nice condition because my god this game's expensive and if it was ever destroyed i would cry but um i've gotten other ps2 games where i opened the damn box and like chunks of plastic are just broken and falling out and then the xbox had a chance but then this fucking thing happened and then these goddamn things happened it's like th this is fine this is good this is a good box but these suck these really suck and this was especially hilarious um yeah, I think GameCube has wins the box art t template battle thing. Sixth generation, give it up for Donkey Konga, everybody. This game's fucking weird.
If you played Donkey Kong before, you can like play fucking uh, Mighty Mighty Boss Tones on bongos. <laughs>